What is going on guys, it's Zebrev, aka Distance by Design, and I'm throwing you guys my free defensive ebook for the San Francisco 49ers playbook. Um, if you follow me at all, you know that this is the playbook that I've ran for pretty much all of Madden 15. Um, and I'm going to throw you guys every single blitz and every single coverage scheme that I run. Granted, it's not a lot, but what, with what I'll be able to show you, you should be have all the defense. <laughs> you would need um, for free so if you like it give the video a like and subscribe to my channel all my Madden 16 content is going to be crazy I'm going to be dropping free offensive and defensive ebooks within the first week of the game being out um, so if you like what you see here subscribe for the same thing in Madden 16 and I appreciate you watching um, so we're going to start off in 34 bear just because this is a highly popular defense, um, it's a really good run defense, and it has cover 2 invert, which has pretty crazy coverage, and a lot of people just like to run it. Um, I wasn't able to find any A gaps or B gaps, really, out of 34 bear. Um, Madden Daily has an unslidable B gap out of 34 bear. If you really need a blitz out of here, um, go check that out. But I'm going to have coverage D, and I do have a 4-man edge rush I'll show you. Um, so the coverage D slash run D, I like to run out of 34 bear. Um, it's just cover 2 invert stock. For your subs, you're just, I would just put um, additional linebackers at the defensive end spot. And then like your best defensive end at defensive tackle, just because they're going to be out, your DNs are going to be out in coverage, sometimes man coverage. So it's helpful to have them be linebackers. Um, so cover 2 invert. So. This is our coverage D slash run D. Um, the adjustments I make is base align, spread the D line, spread the linebackers. Um, and then this linebacker here is supposed to be blitzing. I like to man him up on the outside receiver to the right. And then man up this D end on the outside receiver to the left. So we've got a two man rush, and then obviously these are the safety. Um, we got a two man rush, which actually generates decent pressure. Because for some reason, if one of those two block sheds, the other lineman won't block them afterwards. So, I mean, you just need one out of two block sheds and you'll get pressure anyway. Then you've got a cover two look. Oh, that's manned up on the wrong guy. Um, and then I just like having those guys from the inside sliding to the outside receivers because it takes away like posts. Um, they'll get out there in time to at least swat a curl route. Um, it takes away drags, it takes away a lot of things like moving towards the middle of the field. So that's just like a coverage adjustment I like to do. So we'll show you the pressure here. Um, there's a block shed there by Justin Smith. And just like I said, um, as soon as you get a block shed on one of those two defenders, um, he's just going to end up sacking the quarterback because the other lineman won't pick him up. You can see it here, Justin Smith block sheds and then the tackle doesn't do anything. And we get a sack in roughly four seconds with a two-man rush. Um, pretty good stuff there. I wasn't really usering on defense. wasn't really paying attention. I was watching the rush, but we'll take a look at the coverage downfield. Um, you can see we kind of just ran streaks or whatever, but um, Willis is sliding out. So just the, his motion of running takes away a lot of routes. Um, you can see the DN, who's a linebacker, sliding out. That'll take. That'll be a pick against curl routes. Um, good stuff there. And then we've got these linebackers in the middle, and then us using the middle. So, um, if you look, by the time um, the quarterback's getting hit, nothing really going on downfield. Um, I mean, we got nine people in coverage, so pretty good there. I will run it a couple more times. Maybe just one more, actually. Because with coverage D, you guys get the point, I'm sure. That's what it should look like. Again, we're just running cover to invert, spreading the line, spreading the linebackers, and then manning up those outside receivers. Uh, so we're going to use her as if it was a game. And you can see we got Justin Smith in there pretty quickly if he would have been able to make the sack. Um, so that's the coverage D I like to run out of 34 bear. I'll do like a running play just to show you what it looks like. It's pretty good run D, especially like under center. Um, not too great a pistol bunch tight end D, but 
I'll show you from this perspective anyway. So that's like HP counter and we just get wrecked outside. <laughs> so not good pistol bunch tight ND, but don't worry because I've got that coming up here in a minute. Um, let's do like an under center off tackle or something. You just have so many people in the box that it's just a nice base run defense considering that we are having nine people in coverage. Um, so set up like before, this is really strong defense against closed formations like this as well. We're trying to run off tackle and we just got people over there um, to take up the blocks and all. So um, that's the coverage D. You can do the same exact thing out of cover one hole, which is actually your man audible. Um, except you're going to want to put the DNs in zones. Pretty basic concept. Um, just like put these linebackers on purples. And then you have a two man rush from the left. And then just user. That's just the same concept but with man coverage. Um, yeah. So just wanted to show you that real quick. to the edge rush out of 34 bear here. Uh, pretty good stuff, only a four man rush. It is slide protectable and it is blockable with a running back, but it's a nice little change up um, with your cover two invert defense. So we're running pinch dog three. Your adjustments are base align, shift the line right and shift the linebackers left and then do the QB contain feature which is done with L2 or left trigger and R1 or right bumper. Then you're going to move this linebacker out slightly and the purpose of that is to get him on a contain rush instead of a regular blitz. And then you're just going to put this safety on a flat zone and use her whoever you want. I like Willis right here. So we basically have a cover three concept, five man rush, um, no flat zone to the left but that's an adjustment we can make, and we'll show you the blitz here. Um, didn't come through that time because he got bumped by the receiver, so we'll put that receiver on a different route. Um, that does not happen in a game, I assure you. So we'll just put him on a flat zone. 19, 19. Like so. And you can see we are not getting pressure with it. Awesome. Let's try it one more time. This shit never works when I try to show you in an actual video. I didn't QB contain that time, that was my problem. Alrighty, so this one should come through. So we get the guy off the edge like so, pretty quick. I'm not really able to outrun that with the quarterback, even in mutt. So, pretty good stuff there. Again, we're just base align, shift the line right, shift the linebackers left, move this guy out slightly in QB contain, and then put the safety on a flat zone. That's what it should look like. One more time here. Um, and he bumps that receiver again, but he was about to come off the edge. So not good examples of that, but I did get one good example. I promise you it works. <laughs> just take my word for it, but I gotta move on. To nickel 335 wide which has actually become kind of my base defense. And the reason for that is this is my pistol bunch tight end defense. And I actually made a separate video on that, but I'm going to break that down fully again in this video, um, just because that offense is so popular in the higher ranks of Madden. Um, so the play we run as our base defense is Sam Will, three blitz. And we'll actually go into pistol bunch tight end here and call strong power. So your pistol bunch tight end D is you're going to base align and show blitz. Then you're going to do the QB contain feature yet again. You're going to pull this linebacker up into the inside to where he's about five yards off the line and to the outside shoulder of the D end. Honestly, anywhere between this area is perfectly fine. Um, you're probably going to need to do that quickly as your setups. So just like throw them, like come here and just like throw them up and click off. Like that's a fine spot. So then you're gonna man up this middle linebacker on the running back, pull the safety down, and then just use her this safety over here. So that's what it looks like. Looks like again, five-man rush, and um, very 
very good defense against the runs, the strong power and the HP counter, as well as having that man coverage on the running back will actually take away a lot of the wide receiver reads in the pass plays. So we'll get into it here. Um, we'll run strong power to the right and to the left a couple times. So you run it to the right, you just come up, take it away. Um, pretty easy. Uh, set it up again. You want we want to make sure you pull the safety down because he does help in the run a lot. And having him down here actually helps stop verticals as well, the pass play. So, pretty good. Um, we'll run strong power to the right again. And uh, we actually got that <laughs> pulling guard actually got a double block, which was dumb. Um, but we were actually out there for the play. So, that's something that never happens either. Um, you can see we've got two guys against one blocker, so we should be able to make the play, but Madden. <laughs> um, one more time, running it to the right here. Again, your goal, controlling the right safety against Pistol Bunch tight end, is just to come up on the runs. Um, and I'll show you what to do, how you should react when you see it's a pass play. But one more time, strong power to the right. double blocked again but we still have the cornerback out there um, I'm also not using that safety because I'm using the running back you can't use two controllers at once <laughs> um, so a user will be able to come up on that much faster um, so we'll try to run it to the left now and you can see the real strength of this defensive setup is when they try to run to the left it just gets annihilated <laughs> so we'll flip it here and it's just locked up most of the time that contain swooping in from the left, actually we'll just hit him for a four yard loss in the backfield, but we still got it locked up here. That contain just blows up the play. Um, we somehow run right by him still, but we've got defenders out there. Um, it's just locked up. So a couple more times here. Um, again, this is a separate video on my channel, so don't want to spend too much time on it. Uh, we'll run strong power to the left like one or two more times and then we'll go to HP counter as you can see that contain just blows up any prospects of trying to run left which is exactly what you want because like a lot of people actually like to run to the left more in this formation and we're using to the right so that'll also deter them from running right so um, there it is where the contain just blows up the play entirely without getting blocked. Um, so good stuff there. Based on those examples, I'm sure you can see how HP counter is going to go. It's actually even worse than strong power, and we had strong power locked up. Um, HP counter against this defense, you literally can't run to the left or the right with, while gaining yards. <laughs> it's insane. Um, so we'll run it to the left here the way it's designed originally. And the contain just swoops in for a hit stick before we can even move our running back. Um, I absolutely love running this defense and watching someone try to run left. Um, it's just so locked up and they're not expecting it to be because this offense is so popular. Um, that is just a good feeling. Again, we get a computer hit stick four yards in the backfield on HP counter. Um, now we'll run it to the right a couple times. This actually is very quick to set up as well in a game. It may look like a lot, but once you do it a couple times, um, easy stuff. We'll try to run HP counter to the right here, and the other contain actually just sets the edge and hits him in the backfield as well. Um, so just HP counter is just as locked up as a run could be. <laughs> um, we'll try to run it to the right again, and the contain just sets the edge and. We so that's the that's the real strength of this defense is stopping those pistol bunch tight end runs. Um, it's one of the best I've found for this formation. And I'll get into the pass plays now, and you will see the strength of having our linebacker manned up on the running back against the pass plays. It's the same exact setup here. Um, when using the safety, um, if they snap the ball and you see that it's a pass play, all you're going to want to do is just start running inside like this. Um, because all of their, most of their reads are directly over the middle of the field. 
um, and we actually gain an advantage by coming from the opposite side of the field because they may not see us lurking or they may not think we'll get there and sometimes they'll just throw a pick at your face. So when you see it's a pass play, you just want to slowly move to the inside. Um, if it's verticals, you're going to want to take away that post route until he gets near you and then you're just going to want to run with him like this. Um, if it's crosses, same thing, you're going to lurk inside, see that it's crosses and then go right with the, um, with the receiver. So we'll show verticals here since that's the most popular pass play out of this formation. I'll set it up exactly as someone would. Um, the X drag and the R1 swing left. Um, and what's going to happen is that safety we pulled down is actually going to run perfectly with that triangle route um, and the linebacker manned up on the running back is going to take away that drag and the swing left so all we have to do is use her that post route like I said I won't be able to use her because I can't use two controllers at once uh, but just pretend that we're taking it away um, I'm going to snap the ball and not throw it right here just to show you how to lurk that post route um, real quick so we're going to snap the ball and see that it's a pass, we'll just go inside, we see that it's verticals, then we strafe and just run. And by the time um, they realize it's taken away, they've either thrown a pick at us or we're getting pressure. Um, so again, just watching the guy we're controlling, we're lurking inside, running straight to the post. Um, if they see that it's open in like this window, um, by the time they throw it, you're actually going to be able to cut off the angle and get a pick which is why coming from the opposite side of the field is such an advantage. And then, like I said, we're just strafing and taking away that post route. Um, as you can see, this guy runs deep with the streak, so that's taken away. Um, and then actually, the man coverage on the running back takes away a throwing lane for the drag and the swing left at the same exact time. Um, if they try to, try to throw that drag, he's actually going to be in perfect position. So he's actually taking away two routes with one coverage. Um, not to mention having him manned up on the running back helps so much to stop the runs as well. So we'll set it up the same way again. Um, but I won't be able to use her defense this time, so I'll like, use her the offense and try to um, hit the drag route. You can just watch the coverage develop. Um, so we try to hit the drag route. We actually get some decent yardage, but you can see that that um, linebacker is taking away that route almost entirely. He's actually taking away visually, which is what we want, because they might not even try to throw that pass when they see the coverage the way it is. Um, so uh, that's the point, take it away visually. He actually takes it away altogether, <laughs> but we'll try to hit the drag again. Linebacker's in perfect position. So the point is, again, I don't have two controllers, but if they hit that drag, you're just going to click on and swivel inside, and it's going to be a two-yard gain. Um, I can try to do it. <laughs> I don't know if I can switch controllers that fast, but the point is we're taking away the main routes of verticals. Most of the time, in the first couple times they run verticals anyway, um, they're going to be looking only for the post because they have so much success with it against other people. That's just what I've found from my experience. So you can sometimes just steal an interception right off the bat. Um, but we'll try to click on and swivel inside after we hit that drag. Um, so we throw it, click on, swivel. Um, and the computer's just wrecking us right now. <laughs> I will get an example. I promise you that's taken away. Um, just frustrating. I'm trying to show you everything in practice mode because it's not the same as a game. Um, so we'll try to hit this drag again, click on it, swivel inside, there we go. Just locked up. So that's what you'd want to do in a game. Just pay attention, click on when you need to. Um, if they start pass leading that drag up, you can actually just um, click on and do the same thing. It won't actually make much of a difference. Um, so yeah. The other pass play I want to show out of Pistol Bunch Tight End pass plays are the screen and the um, cross drag, since those are the other two popular ones. Um, most people don't even um, run more than these three pass plays, so that's why I'm highlighting these. Um, again, we are setting this up the same exact way, 
again, make sure the safety is pulled down. And now the offense is running cross drag. Um, so again, we're going to see that it's a pass, come inside, and then strafe across the field. And I just completely <laughs> did something wrong with the defense. I think I reset it or something. Reset the defense or did something weird where it took away. So we'll just start that over. And again, we're just trying to work the crossing routes coming over the middle of the field. And safety will be down here in a game. So again, cross drag is a play we're defending. We snap the ball, see it's a pass, lurk inside, go straight to triangle. And we actually probably would have given that up if you tried to throw it because we overextended. But if they try to throw it quickly because they think it's open, like I showed you earlier, it's going to be a free interception. Again, see it's a pass, go inside, run with triangle. All of that is taken away. And by the time the pressure gets here, there's no reads. Um, so, you can see also this man coverage on the running back yet again is taking away two routes. Um, he's just running directly in the throwing lane of the circle route. Um, so again, that's taken away visually, and with a fast enough click on, it's taken away with a user. So again, we're having this man coverage just taking away two routes at once, and we're lurking the post. So one more time here. Same setup. Hold the safety down. See, it's a pass. We go inside, and we lurk the post. Taken away. Justin Smith gets a sack by the time anything comes open. So... Last example to show in the Pistol Bunch tight end defense um, is the screen that they like to run. Same setup. And if you haven't faced Pistol Bunch tight end much, um, what they'll do is they'll just put circle on a drag with the running back and they're supposed to snap circle and do like a wide receiver screen. Um, so I just messed it up, but um, they'll put circle or square on a drag and just throw a wide receiver screen. Um, this video is running a lot longer than I wanted to, and the majority of the community hasn't even seen this offense, so I apologize. Um, I'll put an annotation in the video to skip ahead of the pistol bunch tight end D. Um, so, sorry about that. Uh, but again, we're running screen, and what you're going to want to do when you see it's a screen is you're going to want to, you see it's a pass, so you lurk inside, and then you're going to want to read it's a screen, and then just come down from behind the receiver. And that's actually just going to let you make a play behind the blockers and lock it up. So we see it's a pass, then we realize it's screen. Um, again, I can't use two controllers, but you can see that's the way we would play that play. Um, so we lurk inside like we thought it was a pass. We realize it's screen. We ba bounce back down. And you can see from the angle we have, we're just going to make the tackle um, pretty easily. They're probably going to throw the pass right about here. Um, so with the completion about right here, we're just making a tackle. Um, so yeah, that is the pistol bunch tight end D. Um, that's what I run to stop that formation. It's pretty effective, especially since a lot of people just think they can live off of those running plays and they're completely locked up with this defense. Um, one more thing I wanted to th show you out of nickel 335 wide. It's actually a five man unslidable B gap blitz. Um, and it's actually two plays you can run with it. Um, it works under center and in shotgun. So this is my go to blitz. Uh, when I don't really know what the offense is going to do as far as passing, like if it's third down and I haven't seen much. Um, so it's either one Sam SS Blitz if you want man coverage, or it's three Sam SS Blitz if you want cover three coverage behind it. So we'll do the three Sam against just a random pass play. Um, so your adjustments, you're going to baseline, show blitz, bring this safety that I'm controlling just straight down on the line. Reblitz the middle, de-tackle, and then just use her this middle linebacker and make sure he's more than five yards off the line of scrimmage. Um, 
so that's what it should look like, 5 man rush. Keep in mind when you're using this middle linebacker, his designated zone is actually to the right side of the field. Um, so if you want to play the middle of the field and not hurt yourself in coverage, actually you want to be using this linebacker. Um, just something to know. But we're going to snap the ball here. And that gets picked up for some reason. Um, in practice mode, the outside linebacker for some reason likes to get a speed boost straight off the line. And that doesn't happen in the game and it actually screws up the blitz. Um, so I will try to point that out when that happens. That's what happened last time. But again, very simple adjustments. Um, there's that speed boost again, so we get the edge rush instead, um, which is fine. Um, edge rush, B gap, same thing really. Um, again, five man unslidable. So we're actually going to block a running back, or if you block a running back, it will pick it up, but they're going to be trying to block your best pass rusher. Um, so um, you're going to get a one-on-one -on -one with the running back anyway, and it's unslide protectable. So we're sliding right here, the most common way to try and defend this. And he's getting that speed boost every single time. That is annoying. Let me see if I can call a different formation and it'll stop. I'm sorry guys, I'll go under center. That might solve the problem. Because um, the blitz works exactly the same under center. And uh, against... Um, sorry. Against play action, you're actually just going to get that safety screaming off the edge. So play action and being under center doesn't stop it either. So that's what it should look like yet again. We snap the ball, we get the edge rush. So it's either going to be an edge rush or a B gap from the right side. Like I said, same difference. Um, and it's unslidable. So we're going to slide right here. Like I said, blocking a running back will have him pick it up, but your odds of a block shed are actually really good as well. So we snap it there, and then we get the B-gap. That's how it's supposed to look. And we're actually sliding right there as well. Um, so, um, five-man rush, we get a B-gap off the edge. Um, not slide protectable, good stuff there. So one more time here. Um, we're going to slide right, and then slide pinch, just to show you that neither of those work. Slide left doesn't work either. Um, so we're sliding right. And that B-gap comes through anyway. Now I'm going to slide right again because I didn't show you that I was sliding right like an idiot. So, you're sliding right. There's the line. You can see it. Okay. Slap the ball. The running back picks up the edge rush. One more time. Send that running back out on a round. Sliding right. See it there. And we get the B gap off the edge. So we'll slide, a, slide pinch here. And we do have six men in coverage, so um, your coverage adjustments should be pretty standard. Um, it's basically cover three, we just don't have flat zones. So pretty good stuff there. Um, we're slide pinching now. You can tell by the play art. Gap gets caught. Um, that won't happen in a game either. It's just so frustrating to try to show you things in practice mode. <laughs> um, but there's no way I'd get this through this video if I did every play in a real game. So again, we're slide pinching. And we get the edge rush. Easy stuff there. So the point is, not slide protectable. Uh, that's my, again, my base blitz when I don't really know what they're going to do as far as passing, like in the beginning of a game. Um, just a unslidable five-man B-gap. All you can really ask for when you're testing the waters to try and see the adjustments you need to make on defense. Um, so now we're going to just get into the four nano blitzes that I run. And this video is actually going to be over after that because um, you don't really need more than four nano blitzes especially with how different they are against different looks and such. Um, 
Um, so the first one, this is this only works against shotgun and only works against non-play action plays. So keep that in mind. Um, I don't run it too often unless it's like a long third down. But it is pretty nasty. We're in quarters one three seven. Um, you can run this with cover one thief, cover one hole, um, FC two deep, or FC three sky. Um, so the adjustments you're gonna base a line, shift the line right, and crash them down. And then you're going to re-blitz this defensive end, and that is all. So that's what it looks like. Five man rush, we should get two in here. If you actually run FZ3 Sky, I recommend just point this guy down. It helps. Um, so we snap the ball here, we just get a screaming A gap up the middle, along with a B gap through the right side. Untouched. Five man rush, we get two in, one of them straight through the middle of the line. Um, so you can see the success of that play here. Um, and we've got cover three behind that, so pretty disgusting. Um, we'll go into the cover one theme as well. Uh, cover one thief. Same thing, baseline, shift the line right, crash them down, re-blitz this D tackle. And that's what it should look like, just a four man rush um, with cover one behind it. And we just get a screaming A gap in the middle. So that's like what I like to run on like third down. I know they're going to be in shotgun, and I know they're not running play action. Um, just an instant sack. It's very hard to find any route that develops against man coverage that quickly. Um, that doesn't involve going over the middle straight at your face. Um, so that is pretty good stuff there. Similarly, I'm going to go into 3-4 even here. This is again another A gap that only works under shotgun and no play action, but it's just as fast. Um, gets in there very quickly. This is 93 is the lineman that's going to come free, so if you want to do subs, do subs. Doesn't really matter. It's really fast regardless. So the play is Mike Scrape 3 Press. Um, we're base aligning and crashing the line down. And we're going to put this D end on a flat zone, re-blitz all three of these guys, and then you're going to want to pull this linebacker out here Zone. The key to this blitz is that he's outside of the tackle box. He needs to be outside of this linebacker completely and more than five yards off the line, which is fine because we want him covering the fly over here anyway, so all that means is he just gets out there quicker. But you can see this is just cover three with a three-man rush. Um, so you'll understand why this play is so nasty um, as we come almost screaming through the A-gap. Not sure why that didn't work. Set it up again, base line, crash line down, flat zone this linebacker. Re blitz all three of these guys on the right. Not really sure why that guy came up. Why this guy's over here. Then we pull this guy over, flat zone, user this linebacker. Again, cover three with a three man rush. We come screaming through the A gap, supposedly. <laughs> I don't know why that's doing that in a game that's coming straight through every time. Again, practice mode woes. You can see that it works exactly, but somehow he catches him. Um, but just like this screenshot right here, this clip, you can see he's coming straight through the middle. Um, again, a separate video for that blitz on my channel. It's called A Gap Insanity, if you want to look at that. Um, so yeah, hopefully we can get it to come through here. Again, it just gets barely picked up. That will come screaming through in a game. If you ever watch my stream, I run it all the time. <laughs> so I don't know why it's doing that, but we're just screaming through the A gap with a three man rush and cover three behind us. So, again, very good stuff there. Um, one thing to note is by default, your, def um, your cornerbacks are pressing. Um, so, if you choose to run this blitz, um, keep that in mind if you can set your adjustments up quick enough. Um, if you have time, it's really helpful to just pull these corners off the line just slightly. Because of the fact they're pressing immediately at the line, but they're also in deep blue zones, they have a tendency to get beat deep against fast receivers, um, regardless of what corner it is. So if it's like a situation where you think they're going to go deep, just try and pull these corners off the line just like five yards if you can. Um, and send the same exact blitz. Oh, 
Blitzes, the ones that I run the most often. Again, separate videos on my channel for these, but I just wanted to throw this all into one video for this ebook. Um, we're in 3 4 odd, the play is 2 sync, QB contain. The adjustments for this are insanely easy. Um, you're going to base a line, crash the line right, and shift the linebackers right. And you're going to re blitz this DT over center. And then you have to pull this middle linebacker more than five yards off the line. Like, like that. So as you can see, we get a four-man rush uh, with cover two sink behind it. And we just get a screaming B-gap and an edge rush from the same side with a four-man blitz. Um, this is slide protectable, but you can usually get it off one or two times before they even realize. Um, you can see a four-man rush. We're getting two people in unblocked with cover two sink behind the play. Absolutely disgusting, especially with how easy the setups are. Again, base the line, crash the line right, shift the linebackers right, re-blitz this D-tackle, pull this guy more than five yards off the line, and just user him. Um, screaming B-gap and an edge rush <laughs> off of a four-man rush. Just disgusting. You can flip this blitz as well if they're slide protecting left and you think they're not paying attention. Just flip the play and the adjustments are exactly the opposite. Base the line, crash the line left, shift the linebackers left, and then again re-blitz this D-tackle and pull this guy off. And we come screaming from the right side. So yeah, <laughs> I run that blitz a lot. Um, against under center and play action, additionally, Instead of a B gap, you're just going to get a swooping edge rush. Um, I'll try to show you an example here. So it's not completely useless against under center either, or play action. Um, it's just a little bit slower. So we'll actually do play action under center. Same adjustments here. And that one actually gets picked up. But we, I mean, we still have a, if it gets picked up, like think about the play that you're running. Um, <laughs> you're running cover two sync with a four man rush. So even in your worst case scenario, which is the blitz getting picked up, you're still running a standard cover two sync. Like, <laughs> these plays are disgusting. Um, I can't get that to swoop around for some reason, but that's typically how it would work. Alden Smith would, um, they'd run like play action, and he would just basically do this and come in free. So that's the basics of that blitz. Um, now I have two more blitzes under 3-4 under. One of them isn't great. I'm going to do it very quickly, but the other one is amazing. And then this video is going to be over. So if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Um, again, free ebooks within the first week of Madden 16 being out. Um, so please subscribe to my channel if you want to get in on that action. I don't know who wouldn't. <laughs> Um, so stay tuned. So we're in 3-4 under. The blitz that isn't too great is 1 QB contain. We're just basically getting a blockable edge rush. Um, if they block a running back, it's going to get picked up. Blah, blah, blah. But it is a pretty quick edge rush off the left side. So all you're going to do is base the line, shift the line left, and shift the linebackers right. And then you can put this linebacker on any zone you want. Like a purple, blue, yellow use the safety. So we've got basically a cover one look with a four man rush and we just get no pressure because this shit doesn't want to work for me. Um, <laughs> sorry, it's just very frustrating when you try to show shit in a video that you're doing one take for and it doesn't work right away. Um, so again, this is what it should look like. Um, we're just going to get out on Smith screaming off the edge, untouched. Um, if they seem to be struggling with man coverage or they like to run a lot of slants or drags and shit, um, I really like running this blitz because the man coverage is coming from the inside perspective of the inside receivers. Um, so it actually helps cover slants and drags and stuff because they're coming from the other side of the route. 
Anyway, if they're struggling with man coverage, I like to run the splits more than usual. I don't know why he's not swooping, but regardless, even if it doesn't come in, we've got cover one with a four man rush behind it. Good ass things. One more time here. There we go. Comes off the edge. Right guard does absolutely nothing about it, and we get a swooping sack. So, this is the, probably the best blitz. Well, that's debatable because they're all insane. <laughs> but this is my newest blitz and probably the best one. Um, this is also a separate video on my channel. 3-4 under double B gap. It's got JJ Watt on the cover if you want to watch it, but I'll just go over it quickly here. Um, so it's a five-man rush. We actually get two people through the B-gap, and the blitz is flippable with no changes except exactly the opposite adjustments, so you can run it to either side and get two people free on a five-man rush, um, and it's also an under-center uh, edge rush. So the play is 3-4 under, SS, scrape 3. Your adjustments are base align, shift the linebackers left, re-blitz this middle D tackle re-blitz this linebacker right here above the left end then you're gonna pull the safety down and slightly out and re-blitz and then again you're gonna want to pull this middle linebacker off the line on five yards so that's what it should look like again cover three concept with no flat zones only a five-man rush and you can see the absolute heat we get out of this um, just a double B gap untouched uh, <laughs> This blitz just makes me laugh because it's so disgusting. Like, just look at that. Oh my god, it makes me it makes me very happy. <laughs> so double B gap on a five man rush. We'll set it up again here. Um, base line, shift the linebackers left, reblitz this D tackle, reblitz this linebacker, pull safety down and out a little bit and reblitz, and then pull this guy off the line. Again, take note that your designated zone for this play is to the right, so unless you're going to cover the right, it's actually more beneficial for you to use this linebacker so you don't screw up your coverage. Um, again, we get a double B gap <laughs> through the right side. Just nasty. Um, we'll run it from the left side out of shotgun, and then we'll run it from the right side under center, and that will be the video. So like I said, this play is completely flippable. doesn't change your results at all, so we flipped it there. Um, the adjustments are just exactly the opposite. Base align, shift the linebackers right, um, re-blitz this de-tackle, re-blitz this linebacker, pull this safety down and out a little, and re-blitz, and then pull this linebacker back. Same exact adjustments, you can see it's literally just the same play flipped. And we get almost a double V-gap. For some reason, Justin Smith got picked up. But you can see just the insane pressure for very little setup that we get out of this play. But again, double B gap through the left side. <laughs> so you can infer um, if they block a running back, you're still going to get someone in. Um, and I'll do slide protection here. You're still going to get someone in. Um, so we're going to slide this left. Basically the only way to stop it is to slide to the correct side and um, block a running back as well, which puts you at an advantage because that means there's only four routes going in six coverages. Blah blah blah, basic football stuff. So we're going to slide left here, you can see it on the screen there, and that actually worked. That is unusual. That should not have happened. <laughs> I have tested this. <laughs> Sorry. Um, practice mode woes yet again. Again, we're just sliding left. And um, normally when they slide left, you actually get that B gap even quicker, which is what's supposed to happen. Um, you can see it almost did, but just like with that Mike Scrape, pre Mike Scrape 3 press earlier, um, the center kind of insanely reacts like how he would not act in a game. So I just slide it left. Um, you can see right here, in a normal situation, this B gap's just going to come through regardless, um, but it gets picked up stupidly. Anyway, you can see that it comes in against a slide left. Um, we'll do slide right here. And keep in mind, I'm still running the play flipped, so don't get confused. 
Um, so we're, now we're sliding right. Obviously that's not going to help at all. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you, out on Smith comes screaming. Um, the act of them slide protecting makes it only a one person blitz, but still. Um, to get a guy free against slide protect is all you could really ask for. Now we're going to slide pinch. You can see it with the play art there. And again we get out on Smith screaming. Just an insane blitz. Um, and then lastly I'm going to slide protect and block a running back to show you that it is pick upable because that's a word now. And uh, But you're still going to have six men in coverage against four receivers if they do that and that's the only way to stop this blitz. So again we're sliding left and blocking a running back. Um, and he just you just get a one on one with Alan Smith on a running back. So it's just an instant block shed regardless. <laughs> so really they're only delaying the inevitable with that method of stopping it, which is the only way. Um, so I feel like this video went pretty well. Not too long, showed you guys all I wanted to show you. I'm sorry if I spent too long on pistol bunch tight end. Again, I'll put an annotation to skip it in the video, but thank you so much for watching, guys. Again, subscribe for the free Men 16 ebooks that will be dropped within the first week of the game being out. Um, and thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, I am glad I could help you out in any way. If even you take one play away from this ebook, um, it's a free money play. So um, just trying to make the community better. Um, thanks a lot guys. We'll see you in several more videos and we'll see you a hell of a lot in Madden 16. Thanks later.